Hey guys, I want to show you one of my absolute favorite pieces of gear. This is my ridge line. And what it is, is about, the ridge line itself is about 25 feet long. And I have used this thing for everything. I braided together three pieces of paracord to create this ridge line. On one end, I braided a loop, and then when I got to the other end, all I did was whip it with some gutted paracord, and then I just ran a lighter across the whole thing. So this thing is very strong. I mean, I love it. And as far as tarp setups and hammock setups and ridge lines and stuff like that, it's tremendous because this loop right here, braiding in this loop into the end, makes it very easy to set up. Let me show you. With this end here, all I need to do, there's my loop, is simply come around the tree. Make sure you can see that okay. This is one end. One end you don't have to worry about any type of knots at all. Simply just pull it through. And there's one end of our ridge line right there. And it's not going anywhere because it's pulling against itself. Now let me take you over here. This end, you see that okay guys? We're just gonna come around. The ability of this is not hindered at all. Because on this end all we're gonna do, just like we're using a single piece of paracord, is make a taut line hitch. So one of my favorite pieces of gear here, guys, the braided paracord ridge line. I bring this with me everywhere. Okay guys, well our shelter is now set up. I wanted to give you a quick look. I did have to change out my ridge line to some bank line here because my ridge line would not fit through these grommet holes. And the way that I do it is I put a bite through that grommet hole here. You might be able to see that. I take a bite from the line, put it up through the grommet, and then I put a toggle through there. Unfortunately, the ridge line did not fit up through this grommet, so I switched to bank line, and it worked perfectly on both sides. You can see the bite and the uh, toggle through the bite. On that side of the bank line there, I just have two half hitches. On the other side over here, line hitch and that's pretty much the pattern I use so if you look at my stakes the corner is always your 90 degree angle guys and I try to go 45 degrees from that where I put my stakes but I always put a two half hitches there and a taut line hitch onto the stake Two of my very favorite and main knots that I use. Two half hitches, taut line hitch to the stake. Same thing over here. There's two half hitches holding that in. 
and there's a taut line hitch. So you can always tighten it as you're setting up. Pull on this to tighten accordingly. Give you a little look at inside. See that pile of leaves right there, guys? If I were spending the night, those would all go into my 55 gallon drum liner and I would sleep right on that. I'd throw my drum liner into the tarp here and sleep that right on that. That would get me up off the ground. So next thing we're gonna do, guys, is set up a tripod. We'll be right back with you. So here's my clove hitch. That's how I like to start them off. Then I just take the three logs and I'm gonna go around all three. We're using bank line for this, by the way, guys. This time, not instead of paracord, we're using bank line. And you wanna make sure this is gonna be nice and tight for you. So I'm three times around there. And then I'm gonna start my weave from the top. times and it's not going to be the strongest lash because it's just a cooking line, cooking uh, tripod that we're making. Just something for another branch to stand on. And then let's go one more time over here. Because then what we'll do is put in our other clove pitch over here. Okay, let's bring it over, I'll show you guys. Okay guys, there's our little tripod set up there that we just made, we just lashed that. This is gonna be our cooking stick. So I'm going to set that right on it, make sure it's going to be over the fire here. And then I got a bigger tree branch back here. I'm just going to set that right on the end to hold it sturdy. And then I'm going to hang my pot right off of here. As you can see guys, we're in business. Fire's going, our cook pot's over the fire. Hanging from our pot hook, by the way, that we made. Here's our pot hook. There is our little tripod 
holding this stick here that's held down by another stick. So as of right now, things are pretty good, guys. It's gonna be ramen noodles, everyone's favorite, right? So we will be back with you in a couple minutes. I just wanted to show you everything set up there. And we'll talk to you in a sec, guys. Okay guys, we are creekside right now. We just left camp, came over to the creek to get us some more water. Now, as you might be able to tell here, we're not necessarily right up against the water. There's a little space between us and the water. So I'm gonna show you another use. Yet another use for one of my favorite pieces of gear that I showed earlier. This is my, um, there's the loop right there. This is my braided ridge line. So I'm going to take the bail of my pot and I'm going to loop it around. So that's what I have on the end of my pot right now. I'm going to go down towards the water. I'm not going to be able to get right up to it. I'm going to throw my pot in and get some water that way. So there we go guys, another use for my braided uh, para-strap here, my braided ridge line. And we got about half, so maybe about one liter in there right now. It was hard to keep the full amount in because there's some roots and debris right at the edge where I had to pull it up. But we're going to take this back to camp and use it. Maybe we'll boil it, maybe we'll wash with it, not sure. But we didn't have to walk up and down here looking for a good spot to access the creek when we have 25 feet of braided ridge line and this bush pot with a beautiful bale on it. All right guys, talk to you in a bit. Okay guys, what we're doing now is we're just taking the water we just got from Keshequa Creek 
and we're gonna wash up a little bit before we pack up and head out. I do hope that you enjoyed our little uh, 4th of July bushcrafting trip here, just a day trip, but it's always good to get out, always good to have some fun. I hope everyone else's 4th of July is going well. forward to talking to everyone again soon. Probably going to break down the tarp, then break down the, uh, put out the fire here, pack up, and hit the road. But I'm glad you could join me. We will talk to you again down the road, guys. Thanks.